Hello everyone. In this lesson, we'll be discussing the DIGS VPN. In our actual scenarios, the traffic from visitors is expected to be isolated from the local traffic. In the context of SD1, we refer to this as DIA. In the experimental environment, the plan is to implement DIA at the BR1 site. This is BR1. After passing through an anti, visitors can access the internet. The internet simulation is done by BR2CH. Okay, this way our visitors, partners can access the internet via an N entity. Their traffic will not interact with local business traffic, ensuring security. Okay, this NRTCH3, CH3. Later, our planned guest VPN will be in the 21 subnet. The VRF is 30. In the future, accessing 30.5, we will see the source address is 30.3 instead of the 21 subnet. Okay, first we will check whether 21.101 and CH5 can communicate. Okay, then we will implement DIA through templates. Currently, BR1's test PC with source address 21.101 trying to access 30.5 is not yet connected. After implementing NRT, it will be able to communicate normally. We will enable ping monitoring on CH5 to observe its source and testing a Shawnee piece. Switching to our experimental scenario, in the experimental scenario, I have already configured two feature templates. We will call them later. If we are already familiar with the templates, then this is very simple and basic. Look, the first template is like a container. This VPN 30 has a VPN with the name of 30 and the VRF number. Importantly, it has a route to the internet, which needs to be learned. When visitors access the internet, their next hop is through the VPN via a route in the VPN. We open IN T. The second is the port interface. The interface is IP and mask globally enabled. Then the IP and mask. Here is a new point to note. The MTU value is 1496 because NRT increases the size of the original packet so it's adjusted to 1496. Next step, add an interface, the VPN30 interface to make this update. The interface name is port 5 for NRT. The address is 21.3. Check the configuration. Generate configuration. Need to wait. It's now loading. Check the newly generated configuration. Note this is the VRF definition. Okay, go from VRF30 to a global row. Notice there's a global keyword. very important. Push the configuration to the device. This step generates configuration. Please wait. Push successful.
push successful. Then switch to the experimental environment. Let's verify the DIN and T configuration. This is monitoring. Open ICMP monitoring on the test object BO1 PC. Its address is 21.1. We test the target 30.5. 3L.5 is 0.5 is the internet address. Device 5, 3. Here we see the communication is successful. Notice 3R.5's response packets. Its response address is 3R.3. .3. As we can see, through ICMP monitoring we find the device simulating the internet's response address is 3R.3. .3. Note the address from which we initiate ping packets. Initiate ping packets. Misha P. Papkut. Here the keyword specifies the encapsulation address is 1. 1. But the response comes from our internet exit, the 30.3 address. Okay, indicating our N and T configuration is successful. Okay, this is an N and T scenario regarding NIT. There's also a requirement for NIT isolation. What does this ISIN configuration mean? As I mentioned earlier, the traffic from the guest VPN and our local VRF is isolated. But why is there a topic of VPN isolation? Let's observe the room propagation through this address planning. We find the network 21.0 defined for visitors and the defined site is BR1. Will this network be propagated to other devices? For example, our CH5, a previous target point. We directly look at 5, although there's none. But if CH5 and our DC have a very similar VPN. 30. This room will still be propagated to CH5. It's understood from our previous lesson scenario specifically mentioned regarding CH6, the previous scenario DCCH. He only has VPN 10. Does he receive routes for VPN 20? It does. We need to deny this part. to prevent the propagation of root 20 across the mesh. Actually, there are two methods. The first method is quite simple. We can plan different VPNIs at each site. Understandable. Assuming the guest VPN at site BR2, its VPN can be defined as 50cc, etc. This can also prevent root propagation when different sites have the same VPN ID, then the routes will be propagated. The propagated route, we hope it to be isolated. Now let's look at this route on C edge 5. On the propagation situation, we create VPN 30 on C edge 5. This is CH5. Adding guest VPN. It is number 30. Name guest VPN.
Okay, within the guest VPN, don't add physical interfaces, please note this point. Without physical interfaces, we can observe during the update that no new parameters need to be filled. Just generating such a container generates configuration. Okay, configuration push successful. Relatively speaking, observing routes in the command line is somewhat simpler. Let's take a look at the routes. We can see the route for the 21 network, which is understandable. Because by default, OMP will push local static and dynamic routes to the entire network. This is not what I expected to see. What to do? We can filter this route through policy. Implement policy. Create a VPN list to match this new VPN. Previously it was 10, 20 list. Create a new one. The number is 30. When matching VPN 30, we want to deny the routes related to it. It's easy to forget. Besides denying VPN 30, all other routes should be allowed. Add a route entry item. Add a rule. VPN list is for guest VPN. When matching guest VPN, this route needs to be denied. Save the policy. This policy, its direction is from branch out. Its site is BR site, branch system site. BR represents two sites. Save it. The direction is regarding BR for VPN 3.0. Inbound routes are denied. Save the policy. To activate this policy, there is a current active policy. For our configuration reasons, I'll deactivate it. Here's a suggestion. If you are implementing a new policy, to ensure more accurate results, we recommend having only one active policy at a time. The current policy is set to false, now activate. Deny the traffic for VPN 3.0. This policy, check the configuration. So, this configuration update for the BR list involves two sites. Both sides match to VPN 30 routes. Our action will be to reject. Check the vSmart status. Okay, policy change pushed successfully. Back to the CH fire site. Let's check the VPN 30 route have been denied. Okay, in this segment, our guests can be isolated in a single VRF to access the internet. 
and during the access to the internet, other sites will not receive this row. We have isolated the root entries of the guest VPN through policy. This completes the two parts of DRN-RT. This concludes our lesson. Thank you.